Welcome to the online training Perchlorate, what it is and how to remove it from drinking water. It is provided to you by the National Groundwater Association with support from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. This training takes about 15 minutes. The time you invest in it could protect your drinking water quality and your health. What is perchlorate? Perchlorate is a naturally occurring and man-made synthetic anion, a negatively charged ion commonly associated with the solid salts of ammonium, potassium, and sodium perchlorate. Synthetic perchlorate is used in the manufacture of fireworks, explosives, flares, ammunition, and rocket repellent. What are the risks from perchlorate? Ingestion of perchlorate affects iodine uptake by the human thyroid to inhibit thyroidal hormone production. A federally regulated maximum contaminant level has not yet been established. Two states have mandated maximum contaminant levels for perchlorate six micrograms per liter in California and two micrograms per liter in Massachusetts. Is my private well at risk? Perchloric contamination has been recognized in groundwater throughout the United States where it has been made, stored, or used. Many such sites are associated with military facilities or aerospace industries. Residential wells in the area of such activities could have groundwater that has been impacted. Some types of fertilizers have been linked to perchlorate presence. Disinfection of wells using household bleach also could introduce perchlorate into groundwater. Perchlorate in bleach will increase as the bleach ages or is stored at elevated temperatures. The National Groundwater Association recommends that only disinfectants certified for use in drinking water be used to disinfect private household wells. How do I test for perchlorate in my water? At present, a limited number of drinking water testing labs test for perchlorate. To locate a lab that does, contact your state program involved in lab certification by going to www.wellowner.org and clicking on water testing. Water samples should be taken only after a well is cleaned and suitable volumes of water have been pumped. This helps ensure water samples are representative of the groundwater quality. Depending on the type of test, labs typically charge in the range of $125 to $225. Here's a question. Persons living near military installations and aerospace industries may be more likely to have perchlorate in groundwater. True or false? The answer is true. Synthetic perchlorate is used in the manufacture of explosives, ammunition, and rocket repellent, among other things. Here's another question. Household bleach is commonly used to disinfect water wells and does not present a contamination risk to drinking water. True or false? The answer is false. The level of perchlorate in household bleach will increase as the bleach ages or is stored at elevated temperatures. The National Groundwater Association recommends that only disinfectants certified for use in drinking water be used to disinfect private household wells. Here's another question. 
When testing drinking water for perchlorate, the water sample should be taken at, and select the best answer, 1, the well, 2, the tap, 3, the pressurized storage tank, 4, only after the well has been cleaned and sufficient volumes of water have been pumped out of the well, and 5, none of the above. The answer is 4. A water sample should be obtained only after the well has been cleaned and sufficient volumes of water have been pumped to ensure that a representative sample of the groundwater has been taken. How can I remove perchlorate from my drinking water? The well owner has three basic options. First, have a water well system professional explore retrofitting your well to block off zones producing water with perchlorate. Two, build a system that isolates the likely perchlorate producing zones if this is feasible. And third, install appropriate water treatment technology. One method is reverse osmosis, a process for removing dissolved ions from water in which the water is forced through a semi-permeable membrane retaining most ions while transmitting the water. A second technology for removing perchlorate is ion exchange. This is the exchange of ions of the same charge between an insoluble solid and a solution in contact with it used in water softening and other purification and separation processes. Always use certified water treatment products. Certified products have had an independent product testing lab certify that the product works. Check with the National Sanitation Foundation at www nsf.org. You can also check with the Water Quality Association at www.wqa.org. Here are some more questions. Removing perchlorate from drinking water is not possible, so the only way to avoid it is for the well to bypass aquifers with perchlorate tainted water. True or false? The answer is false. Sometimes an existing well can be retrofitted or a new well constructed to bypass zones with perchlorate tainted water. However, reverse osmosis and ion exchange technologies can effectively remove perchlorate from drinking water. Here's another question. If I buy a water treatment system from a retail store, I can be confident that it is effective in treating perchlorate because of government regulation. True or false? The answer is false. Just because a system is sold in a store is not a guarantee that it is effective. The best assurance is to buy a product that has been tested and proven effective by an independent product testing lab. Also, the system's specifications should be compared to a water test lab result to make sure the system is designed to treat perchlorate at the levels in which it exists in your water. Visit www.wellowner.org to find out more about useful well owner tools, including a private well owner hotline, the private well owner tip sheet, more online well owner lessons, and free well owner webinars. Don't forget to check wellowner.org for other online lessons if you have questions like, what should I test my water for? How should I maintain my well? How can I keep my water safe? 
What should I do if my well floods? How do I get water treatment? And what should I know about getting a new well?